That's interesting. So I'm just looking at your API docs. Um, and as you said there, I can see you've got kind of a range of functions that you can perform through the API itself. So, um, you know, managing loyalty currencies through to issuing, transfer and redeeming um, or exchanging loyalty currencies. I don't know if you wanted to kind of dive into that a bit further and add anything, any detail to, to kind of maybe your core you know, functions as an API. Well, I mean, there have been payment networks like Stripe or Adyen, Visa or MasterCard yeah. for decades that allowed people to make payments with debit cards or credit cards, but there was no global platform that made loyalty commerce transactions easy. And so mm -hmm. in 2000, 17, we launched our first 18 or 20 endpoints in order to enable loyalty commerce. And I think Manish's team has probably grown that to about 35 endpoints right now. But over time, each endpoint has become much more optimized to resolve a specific use case. As Chuck rightly mentioned, right now we, are, we have around 34 endpoints, which are highly optimized for different type of loyalty transactions. Uh, which uh, essentially means that uh, any partner who is using our API, they do not need, and they have a very specific set of endpoints to actually achieve their objectives and their use case. And this helps a lot with uh, not just in achieving business objectives, but also looking at the data privacy that has been uh, increasingly being the mainstream for all these connectivity in the last five years. It helps a lot to adhere to those laws and regulations as well.